Welcome back to Land Rover Toolbox Videos here again. Okay, Hawkeye Pro. This is actually a very good piece of equipment for reading electronic information in your vehicle. It's one of these sort of tools that we cannot do without these days because we've got a lot of warning lights and uh, when they come on we need to know that the vehicle can be repaired. So we can have a butcher's inside, we'll have a look inside to see what the electronic system, what codes it's generating. With a Hawkeye Pro we can go a lot further. However, first of all I'm going to show you an EOBD reader, which is this one, which is a Microscan 3 from Bluepoint. It works uh, EOBD and EOBD2, which will read DTCs or trouble codes which put your uh, malfunction indicator light on. Now I'm looking through this and it's saying, yep, yeah, there's no faults apparent in here. As I say, it's very limited, you can only do so much to it. Now having a look at the confirmed codes, if there is any, and it will tell us there's no fault codes whatsoever there. This one's a little bit more advanced than what you could buy for off eBay for 30 or 40 pounds. This will actually clear DTC codes. However, it doesn't do much more and it's very vague with manufacturer specific codes. Right, well the thing is with code readers is you have like P codes or U codes and P will be relevant to the powertrain. So if we just look at an example quickly, we can see that P2219 it gives you a description of a knock sensor or the heater on a knock sensor is uh, possibly faulty. Hawkeye, yeah, you can have a look at this very easily. It's only a small part of the overall functions. DTCs are basically classified as P codes as powertrain, U as undefined, B as body, and C as chassis. Okay, now this is a reference point. That's DTC lookups. To be able to read your vehicle, via EOBD or EOBD2, you have to make sure you have the right protocol to be able to talk to it. Land Rover Freelander is this one, this protocol 14230, trouble codes, no trouble codes, okay, so it's actually reading this protocol. Luckily this would read the Freelander, however with a Citroen C3 it didn't want to know. It's not a problem for the Hawkeye, and this Hawkeye Pro is open for well, apparently all of these, I just had a look at a Citroen and it was, uh, I read it straight away. So what we're going to do is have a look at the Land Rover here. The uh, items covered here, you can see L316 is the Puma. We have the Freelander 1, which actually is what I'm sitting in. EMS, which is Engine Management Systems. And after a little bit of browsing, I found it's a DDE uh, 4.0. And to tell this system it's not automatic and new, no cruise control, and then turn the ignition on. This gives me power to be able to uh, energize the uh, ECUs. And we can have a look in here. Right, so this has got into it. It's telling me what part number it is. And the control module type is a DDE at 4.0. Right, so we can do quite a bit of stuff once we can read the ECUs. DTCs, no DTCs found. So for the engine management system, fine, there's no warning lamp that stays on. However, there is something that's amiss here, and that's the ABS warning light, or the check light. So we'll go into ABS and have a look. Again, this is a separate system that you have to understand which one it will be, and you get to know what your vehicle will be after a while. It's just a matter of browsing. Okay, so we're going to go straight into DTCs, or trouble codes. And yeah, look, we have a BLS electrical fault. Well, we'll see what the electrical fault is. Front right sensor, electrical fault, that's permanent. And a longitudinal accelerometer sensor fault, that's the uh, G sensor, plausibility, which means it's not reading it correctly. Okay, so we know those faults are there. And what we can do is try and wipe them, see if they come off the system. Uh, so that's clearing DC, DTCs. Right, are you sure? Yep, yeah, they're not cleared, which means they're permanent faults. So the next thing to do is take action and repair the faults, then we can clear the DTCs. Alright, so this Hawkeye Pro, you can also get the uh, version which has been locked to your vehicle. I'm only showing you this as a review, and I've got to say, this has got to get a massive thumbs up. We're now firmly in the digital era, so we have to embrace it. Okay, so the other facilities we have here is actuators we can actually turn things on and off while the vehicle's static so we can see if they're working forcing it on forcing it off on the aircon compressor clutch 
The bonus with this reader is that it is interactive with the vehicle, so you are going to get live readings. We're looking here at a, the engine management system. We're looking at sensors supply two at the voltage, which is about right. It's not over five volts. Um, brake light test on and off. Okay. If we scroll through using the um, browse buttons, we can see that we have the data of the operations of what we're doing at the time that we're sitting in the vehicle. Pedal 1 demand, for instance, is the throttle pedal. Now, I do have the engine running, and I'm pushing my foot down on the throttle just slightly, so we're at 15%. Okay, pedal 2 demand, 10%. Now, the voltage of the pedal also will vary depending on the position of the pedal. Now, this you can read depending on what you need to get the data for. Downside, obviously, is some of these figures you might not understand until you do some research. If we just take for reference battery voltage, which is at 14.6, the engine is running. That means the alternator is charging and putting out the right amount of voltage. Okay, um, capacitor one, I'm not going to go through all of these, but basically you can monitor what's going on with the engine. If something's not right, you can check it out. Now, this again is the ABS live sensors. The G sensor, which has a fault, that's the accelerometer, we need to look into that. But it does have a voltage supply, so we need to um, dig a bit further with this. Ignition supply at the moment with the vehicle off is 12.3 which is telling me that the battery is actually going flat. CAN or CAN is a communication between ECUs and DDE and DME. They are indeed ECUs. So you have a diesel um, or digital diesel electronics, which is DDE, and digital motor electronics, which is DME. Now you can stop the video and read the description if you like. Basically, the control area network is communication between ECUs. And you'll see here also HDC switch is not engaged, which is quite correct. And you can check to see the operation, whether it works or not. And in this case, it's not actually working because I'm switching it from one to the other and it's doing nothing. Okay, brake pedal, etc. Applied, not applied. There you go. That's operating. So we know that's working fine. Brake fluid, etc. This has got a lot of information for you to view. Now, if you have problems, you can go through them and read what's going on. Anything that goes to an ECU will be giving information so you can read that. Diagnostics basically is something that you learn as you grow with your vehicle. And the more you know about your vehicle, the easier it is to diagnose. And this is the tool that will help you. This engine roughness, it will show you a balance between the cylinders. And I'm scrolling through and you can see there's not much difference. So the engine's okay, it's running fine. I think we'll have to make a bracket up so we can mount this Hawkeye on the dashboard here. Right, so basically this Hawkeye Pro I've just borrowed from uh, Bearmark to have a look. You can get shorter versions which are just VIN locked for your vehicle. However, this is worth investing in if you have a vehicle which is common rail. You cannot get away with not having diagnostic equipment now. If you're serious about getting diagnostic equipment for your vehicle, have a shop about and take a good look at the Hawkeye and the Hawkeye Pro. I think you'll find it'll be very satisfying for you.